What's good, fam? This is Coach Chris, your intuitive, holistic coach. Um, I was coming to do a little quick little video, little update because first off, um, I had got the notion to watch The Matrix because I learned some new information and it's like, um, watch it, you know, with a new set of eyes. <coughs> so I came in here in the uh, living room to try to see if I could find it and it was all subscribe rent by nothing was included with the apps that I have so I'm not buying it you know I have a damn fire stick I could pull it up but I'm, I'm not gonna do it I'm looking at it as a sign is I don't need to watch it <laughs> right now and it, it was because I needed to speak about something else I needed to um this message needs to be put out I don't know who's gonna see it you know but um I went to journaling again I, I journal all through the day and uh because I get messages so I gotta put them down or else I forget them they'll go anywhere <clears throat> but um I was writing down that uh shit oh lord okay so this is um, not something that I typically do. I mean, but it's a part of trauma and it's a part of healing. Um, but it's adult. So if you have a kid, um, this is not the video for your kid to watch with you. Um, unless they're like a teenager or something and you know they're sexually active or they're thinking about being sexually active, you possibly would want them to watch this video. Um... But let's see. <clears throat> okay, not that. Okay, so here we go. I, I'm going to write, I'm going to read it exactly from my journal. <clears throat> it says, um, uh, so I can't pick it up on any of my apps, so it must not be meant for me to watch at this time. But I was thinking about how when we connect to people, we take on some parts of them especially if we have sex with them and even more if it's unprotected and bodily fluids are exchanged DNA we are uploading and downloading information because your body is because your mind is a computer your body is to your body study your body it's like just like people compare it to a car it's, it's, it's a machine you are the soul the being inside of this avatar this body um so you upload and download information unlearn relearn however you want to say it <clears throat> but if you um if you exchange bodily fluids that's the exchange of dna because your dna is in even your saliva your dna is in there um and we're uploading and downloading information when we do that it's all an exchange of energy everything is energy currency is energy that's why money you exchange time for money it's energy they are actually living off of your energy your energy is supposed to be poured into your purpose what you came here to do on this earth not the nine to five stuff not, i'm not gonna say that because nine to five stuff Everybody is at different points in their journey, so there's a place for the nine to five. But you'll get to a point where you don't have to do the nine to five, and your actual work and energy will be into your purpose and what you're supposed to be doing. But um, I said that's why you can be high spirited and ready to take on the world then connect with a person that sees that in you and wants some of it when you spend a lot of time with them. <clears throat> when you spend a lot of time with them, y'all are exchanging energy. I'm laughing because I'm ovulating. And if you're a woman and you're ovulating, you probably know why I'm laughing. Anyway. Um... Where was I? That's why. That's why you can be high. I might need to pause the video. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Where was I? Um. So that's why you can be high spirited, 
and ready to take on the world, then connect with the person that sees that in you and wants some of it. When you spend a lot of time with them, y'all are exchanging energy. And a lot of times the roles reverse, especially when you're swapping bodily fluids. Those hold life force energy. And people will try to drain you dry. Trust me. I don't even know. I, trust me. <laughs> I don't want to read. Trust me. Um, it's happened to me plenty of times. You wonder why people like to consume your nectar so much. It's because they get a boost of energy and additions to their DNA. More info. That's another reason. When people start to look um, like each other after a while, DNA. <laughs> um, that's why people start to look like each other after a while. If they've been in a relationship because they exchange in DNA, they are becoming one. That's how that works. Um... Uh, additions to their DNA more info <clears throat> um, but people who know this even if it's subconscious they fail to realize they have to take it all the good bad and the ugly so yeah they may get some of your magic but they also get your dream your demons and unhealed trauma and if they haven't even attempted to work on their stuff, there's no way in hell they can handle yours. And what the hell? I was just writing fast. And once and once the oh <laughs> I said once the well runs dry. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want y'all to see it. But anyway, this is, if you can see this writing down here, you see how raggedy that looks? I couldn't understand that. But anyway, once the well runs dry and, <laughs> and you stop letting them partake it, or you just cut them out, cut them off, y'all separate, go into, y'all separate, they go into withdrawal because they had become addicted and they start to act out and sometimes in dangerous ways that's why i go ghost when i break up with people because i know people have become stalkers and also because when i love is real and most times i don't leave because i hate them or wanted to leave i leave because they left me no choice um so to protect myself and my heart and my being, I have to completely detach physically to release them completely and heal. I could possibly associate with them in the future, but most likely not because my energy can be quite consuming and addictive. Plus, I stay in my own little world. I can't really have people running in and out and it throws things off balance. Um, and then I said, I'm definitely going to do a video about sex maybe maybe title it sex magic and its effects because we are all participating in magic whether we know it or not because it's being used against us on every day all day basically from every direction that's why they told you it was evil so that they could stay in control and you could stay confused broke and distracted I'm so grateful to be alive in this age, <laughs> this age of Aquarius, and to have done the necessary spiritual healing and for my reconnection with my native roots and to my creator, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and my whole spirit team. I love y'all so much. I'm eternally grateful for your love and support. I am. Um, and that's it. I just, I stopped there because I, I was told to do this video. But, um, you gotta understand, this is my journal. So I write in it as my journal. Um, but some messages, source guides me to share. And this was something that I needed to share. This is why I couldn't watch what I wanted to watch on TV. Um, I had some things that I started earlier that I was doing that I stopped 
and um I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do and Eli is still asleep it's almost two o'clock I'm just looking for my phone it's right here it's almost two o'clock Eli is still asleep but we went to sleep late last night <laughs> maybe that's why I'm having this topic today last night I was up listening to music because if you can hear like his cold that he got I kind of caught it and so I'm you know doing I'm getting over it but I can hear it in my voice at certain times like the the cold but the mucus is coming up because of the ginger paste the garlic ginger paste and the um the teas and um stuff like that that we are taking but um I I hear it so I'm singing to try to make sure that I keep my throat passages open and just moving so that the mucus can move out um you got to be active like you keep your body active you got to keep that stuff active so if you have like a cold or something it's good to sing to um just move those vocal cords and move your throat and stuff like that unless you a doctor told you not to because you your voice is strained you pull something or something but i was singing trying to you know see because at first i didn't hear it because i could still sing but then certain times i would feel it in my throat but I didn't hear like the raspy sound when you actually so I was like singing different songs to try to hear hit different actors to hear, hear it because I felt it but I couldn't hear it when I was singing so I was singing different songs and um last night I went to listening to music because I was like so this was telling me you can't just be like because then you know, I got these these weeks three weeks off well two and a half two, what shit one week now one one more week off from work <laughs> went by fast okay um and <laughs> it went by fast so i gotta get to business but so it's keep so it's keep telling me like i got to because i don't make a move unless i know for sure and i have to take source is teaching me balance that's why my son is a libra my my what i have to learn now right now in life is balance, working towards my north node. Um, plus my rising is Libra, so balance is important and key in my life. And most of the time in the past in my life, I was not balanced because I was around a lot of energies and they were draining me fucking dry. And I was, I'm an empath and I can absorb energy as well. We all can absorb, we all absorb energies. But I was getting their energy they was getting my energy um and i had to work through a lot of stuff that that didn't even belong to me and some people know these things like i have one ex he knew it he knew it um a couple exes they knew well one of my exes he didn't he was he was trying to figure he would always say I'm, I'm still trying to figure you out i'm still trying to figure you out and i told his ass you never will because i was still trying to figure me out because source is not going to reveal all of you to you until it's time everything happens in divine timing and if you have energies around you that do not align with where you are supposed to be or where you want to be with your highest self those doors are going to be locked they will not be open to you unless you release those energies that cannot come with you um or those energies decide to heal with you that that was my problem i didn't want to come alone i didn't want to do this by myself i always wanted somebody with me that's another reason why i stayed with my mama so long our relationship was codependent because time was changing she was older she was on a fixed income disability she couldn't afford to just live on her own and um i couldn't just leave my mama to fend for herself and like i said our relationship was codependent too like we had become accustomed to each other and um my saturn is in aquarius um so my mom was in aquarius we're in the age of Aquarius. <laughs> My Saturn return is ending. That shit, it should be over. But, um, yeah. So, 
I forgot what I was talking about because that's what's connecting things happening. <laughs> but um, it's just crazy. Oh, we're talking about my ex, and he was in Aquarius. Like he knew he was trying to figure me out. But um, and my other ex used to be like, "How you do that?" Like I'll lose a thought, and then I'll be like, "I don't, I don't know," and then it'll come back to me, and I'll go right back to it. <laughs> He was like, how you do I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he thought that, um, he was trying to figure me out. He thought he was slick. And that's, anyway, he thought he was slick. He thought he was smarter than me. But, Source will have me in a space but it, again, too, it was an exchange of energy. When I met him, I was I was healing from the relationship with my son's dad. That shit took me to the lowest of the lowest. Um, he was he siphoned a lot of my that was that was the worst relationship ever. Um, he siphoned a lot of my energy, and uh, a lot of stuff makes sense now. But I stuck around because of my son, because of unhealed wounds and trauma that I had, daddy issues, being, you know, a product, being a product of a single parent, not having my daddy in my life, seeing that he wasn't doing what he needed to do for his other kids. I'm not even going to get to that. Ain't my, that ain't my business to share. But I stuck around because I knew he was not going to be, he was going to do the same thing with my child. And I also needed to see all, I needed him to show me everything. I needed him to show me all of him, show me to the furthest extent that he would go so that I would not revisit that because of my unhealed traumas. Because a lot of women and men, because they got some toxic ass women out there too, um, toxic baby mamas. They deal with, you know, that that parent that they supposed to co-parent with, and um, they they go back because um, of their unhealed traumas because they want their children to have parents um, a two-parent household because they want to try to make the co-parenting thing work, um, but you can't be the only one that wants it to work. You can't be the only one willing to put in the work. It's not going to work if only one person is trying. And the other person thinks the other person is dumb. And they try to get away with things over and over again. That's what happens when you forgive people over and over again. They feel like you're stupid. And they feel like they can keep doing the same things over and over again. They don't consider that you forgave them. Not because you're stupid. But because for the sake of the child. For the sake of giving them another chance for the sake of you wanting somebody else to be that way with you if you were in their shoes that's the way i was me and my sister talked yesterday and we were talking about that um we tend to i think my mama tried to do better with her second set of kids and she tends to um she kind of taught us to you know empathize with people and if a person she's the test uh, if you if you wouldn't want them to do that to you why would you do that to somebody if you don't want somebody to do that to you why would you do that to them and that shit stuck with me and that's how i used to move through life um until uh times where i would be checked out <clears throat> and i would be robotic and you would just get it was just mirror what you did what what you gave me is what the fuck you got when i'm in robotic mode what you give me is what you're gonna get um it's a mirror effect that's another thing too about karma um that's karma a lot of times when people are checked out are uh, in um like i call it autopilot when people are checked out they're detached from their body and um they're just doing things the body is just operating they are not fully aware and conscious they are just with the, the people you hear they when people out there say these bots these bots these bots that's the bots people <laughs> like there are robots out here in in the world but 
the bots are people who are not conscious, not fully aware. So, um, you get, you get what you give, you get the programming too that they have. People can't give you what they don't have. So if the only programming that they have is some fucked up shit, that's what you're going to get. Especially if that's what you're giving them and they, you know, feeding off your energy. Because that's most people, that's what people do. They feed off energy. And that's why a lot of times when you're a light worker, when you're an empath, you have to separate and you can't just be, you can't be at the club. You can't be around people. You can't have people touching all on you. You can't be hugging on people. Stop forcing your kids to hug people. Fuck them. Because a lot of times when we were young, a lot of people who have been through molestation or whatever you, whatever you rape, whatever you went through as a child, a lot of those people that did that shit was the people that your parents like, get him a hug. That's your uncle. That's your cousin. Y'all know what the fuck it was. So, just, um, be careful with stuff like that. Be careful with the energies you have around yourself, the energies you have around your child. And that's another reason why I'm so protective of my child. People wonder why, um, they think I'm controlling it's not that I'm controlling is that uh things happened to me when I was a kid when my mama was protective but when we would go to places where we were supposed to be safe you know other energies would be there and things would happen or the people that we were supposed to be safe with was fucked up and you know what I'm saying they had bad programming. Just like our parents did shit. They had bad programming and they um <clears throat> that's why they used to beat us. <laughs> um but you know that's our job now is to heal our trauma so that we don't pass that shit to our kids. And they gonna get some of it because we're still healing. Like they will get some of it, but it's up to you as the adult to see it, to notice it and to fix it, to correct it with yourself and within your child. And if you've already caused trauma to your child, like I know my son has been through trauma. He went through trauma um, when I was with his dad. He went through trauma with my last uh, breakup. The trauma of losing the only real father figure he had because my ex was not a bad person. He just, we just weren't meant to be and he had energies around him. We were going through our childhood trauma at the same time, childhood trauma healing at the same time, and we didn't, didn't know it. And like I said, it was an exchange of energy. I was live and coming out of the last relationship, and he was coming out of healing from the military. And so uh, that, that was another reason why I went into the depression I went to when we were in a relationship because of the, the, the stuff with his family, the exchange of energy between he and I. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, the stuff with my mama with the lockdown, the COVID lockdown and me not being able to see her. Um, it was a lot. And I think when things started opening back up, he was like, he got, he had a burst of, he was like renewed. He was a new person. He was going through a transformation. And a lot of the stuff that I was into, he was more into at that point. And I was like stuck in the bed and that's he used to sleep a lot before we got together i would call him he would be not he would be asleep and i was sleeping a lot like my body was drained i was exhausted and um it was just an exchange of energy and once i realized that and i started coming out of it because i'm an alchemist i can transmute energy and i started coming out of it because i started to realize what was happening and I started to become more aware. I stopped ignoring things and I was just over it at that point. I was ready for it to be done. And his family really thought that I was after his little money. And in my mind, I know where the fuck I'm going. I know what my future holds. I was not after his money. I didn't need his fucking money. When I met him, he was Stanley's parents. I had my own place. He bought a house because I told him home ownership was important for me and that I was working towards buying a house. So he bought, he told me give him three months. He did it before then and he bought a house cause he wanted us to move in with him. I didn't move right in with him. 
it was a few months it took a few months and then i moved in when the lockdown happened and my job was like we needed to go back to the office and i wasn't going back to the fucking office because i hadn't got used to working from home i had manifested working from home so why would i go back to the office so you know i moved in the lockdown happened we was there for the lockdown and it was cool at first and but then you know the shift was already happening i was already it was already happening. The shift was already happening. But like I said, it was real love though, but it was it was learning experience for the both of us. I hope he learned his lessons because I damn sure learned mine. And um <laughs> But that's why it's important to protect your energy. And if you are um being intimate and having sex with people, even kissing and shit. Touch. You can exchange energies touching. Like, it's energy. It's not physical. It's spiritual. So, don't think that. It's just more potent with DNA, with um, bodily fluids. But you can still transfer that shit. Um, it's energy. It's not physical. It's not 3D. But um, but still be very careful because when you exchange bodily fluids with people that attach it to your DNA, it can take years for you to get that shit up out of your system. It can take years. And not only do you have to fight your shit, your trauma, your unhealed wounds, you got to fight the stuff that you got from them that they transferred to you. And sometimes, like me, a lot of my stuff was... I didn't tell him everything that I went through with my sons that I told him some stuff because a part of me knew I couldn't trust him with all of my business because he told his parents everything and his daddy would say some slick ass shit and I wasn't in the right mindset to um I like my freedom but uh he um you gotta protect your energy you gotta protect your heart. You gotta protect your your um your intimate secrets. Your your story. You protect it because people will tell a story. Like a lot of people. Like when I broke up with my son's dad, he was all over the internet ranting and raving, talking a whole lot of shit about me. I ain't do it. I didn't partake it because I know better. Because I know. I know how that shit works. Now, I'm not, the stuff I say, I'm not slandering nobody. I'm not dragging for nobody. I'm talking, I'm giving examples of learned experiences. I'm giving examples of how I know what I know. I didn't just read some shit in the book. This is spiritual. This is wisdom. This is things that I've experienced, things that I have went through. So, uh, you know, I'm just giving examples. Only the people who the only people who know is the people who knew us. But um, yeah, I didn't I didn't you know put put nothing out there like that because I know better, and I know I know what happens to people that do shit to me. When you're a light worker, when you are divinely protected people i used to pray i used to pray um for god to to like not go so hard on people <laughs> i used to pray for mercy for people i did and it's crazy because i would be like people would show me they don't give a damn about me people would show me like, no support whatsoever. And I would still, if I found out some information that could help people that wouldn't even give me information that could help me, I would still give it to them. But Source had to teach me, no, that is not how it works. The same way you had to go through your trials and tribulations, the same way you did the actual work to heal, to get this information, they has got to do it too because it's out here. We in the age of information. We in the age of technology. It's out here. It's not hidden no more. You have to want it. And I talked to my sister yesterday and we was talking about 
um, how we, you know, everybody can't come with you. Where you going? And I was like, she said that. And I was like, you right. She was like, she came to that realization. And I said, you right. You can't, we be wanting to force people to come with us. And that's where I was. I wanted somebody. I didn't want to do it alone. But I had the source had to remind me I'm never alone. I was never alone. And those people that I kept trying to take with me, they just weren't ready. Uh, possibly they just didn't want what I wanted. They wanted, people want trinkets. Like think about the story in the Bible where it says, um, the story in the Bible where it says, uh, when the devil offered Jesus all of the kingdoms and all of the land and all that, there, he was offering him his own shit. People who know, know what the fuck I'm talking about. People will offer you things that already belong to you. Things that you can get your motherfucking self. Things that you know you can get yourself. If you don't know, you better start believing it. Because it's yours, it's your birthright. We are all born with a birthright. Some people come here for karma though some people come here just to get karma just to get dragged the whole lifetime but for the most part <laughs> the people i'm talking to um we came here we have a birthright and you know what i'm saying it's ours you gotta believe it you gotta keep seeking seeking you shall find knock and a door will be open this is the time the age of Aquarius, the star, healing, hope. This is the time, people. You better connect. Connect to your intuition. Connect to your your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. Stop letting these people tell y'all that your heritage is evil. That your Your birthright, your spirituality is evil because it's not. The intent is what makes things evil. So if you have evil intent, if you have negative intent, that's when it becomes evil. If you are hurting or harming people and it is not valid, like say if you are protecting yourself, People can take that any kind of way. But let's say if somebody did something to you and you're protecting yourself, that's different. But if you just out here fucking with people because you, you found something that you you and you just want to, you will have to pay for that. Everything has a cost. Everything has a cost. So don't be out here playing, dibbling, dabbling like, oh, this ain't real. That ain't real. If you did it, if you attempted it, it's real. So, you may not feel the effects right away, because sometimes some things take time. Like, I've been manifesting this. A lot of us have been manifesting what's happening now, this change, and it is here. And it's been here. And it's people that's been knowing about stuff. But it just, everybody learned at different times. Everybody healed at different times. Everybody is on different points in their healing journey. But you'll get it when it's your time to get it. And the people that's out here trying to cipher information from other people because you heard that, yeah, you can get it. You, you listen to what else I said. You get the good, the bad, and the ugly. <coughs> the demons, the unhealed traumas. And some people's demons and some people's unhealed traumas can take you the fuck out. So be very careful with who you sleeping with. Be very careful with who you sit down with, with who you eat with. Be careful who y'all out here smoking with, who y'all out here doing drugs with. Be careful. Be careful trusting these dispensaries too. Be careful. When my mama passed and I got home and I actually was like, okay, now I can break down, now I can deal with it. I was eating them edibles like uh, one of their gummies, like one of their vitamins. 
And I was the type of person before that, if I was to take it, it was sporadically and it was like half a gummy. And that shit would have me laid out. But, you know, I had a lot of things I had to deal with. And I it gave me an understanding as to why people do drugs. Because I used to, before I did drugs, because um, before I did edibles, some of them, it's a, all that shit, drugs, aspirins, drugs, the the blood pressure medicine, all that shit, drugs. That's why they call it drugs. That's why it's at a pharmacy. But, um... All that shit is all of you. You're programming your body with things, and a lot of that stuff. That's why people have um, trips and like when they take certain drugs or they because if your your mental is fucked up and you take this stuff, depending on what the intention is of the people who created it, you that's why you have the reactions that you have. So that's why it's important, important, it's pertinent, important that you heal your mind, you heal your, your body, your spirit, your soul. Heal those traumas, heal those wounds because it dictates the life that you live. You co-create with the universe, you co-create with your creator. So you need to heal those things, you need to clear out the clutter deep cleaning this december is going to be a new year soon this is the best time to start and we in mercury retrograde all that old shit coming up reintroducing itself to you heal it heal it work through it process it it's so much better on the other side it's, it can be hell going through it but it's way better on the other side than holding that shit and suppressing it because you're going to pop. You're going to burst one day. You don't want to end up behind bars. You don't want to end up dead. You don't want to end up in, in, in the crazy house. You're in, in, in. <laughs> you don't want to end up there. I know a lot of people who go there, they don't. You don't want to end up there. You don't want to end up in the hospital. You don't want to end up bed bound. You don't want to end up. Because when you don't heal mental, emotional, and spiritual things, it transfers to your physical body. And that causes disease, that causes illness, ailments. And that's where my body was going. So I knew I had to heal my spirit, mind, and soul while I'm working on my body healing as well. And even if you start working on your body healing, it opens the doors to your spiritual and mental healing as well. All of it works together. It all has to get fixed together. You start healing one thing, it's gone. Other things going to start getting healed too. But you just take your time and you learn as you go. You don't worry about pushing yourself to the destination because you're going to get that as long as you stay committed and consistent. And that's another thing that I had to learn. So I'm not being as hard on myself when I'm not um, where I feel like I need to be. And it's teaching me again how to parent my child as well and not be so hard on him. That's programming that I had too growing up. We learning, we growing, we healing. <laughs> All right, fam, I think that's it because my neighbors up there loud. Uh, they probably gonna be start the music soon. Um, but that's it. That's all. Y'all have a great day. I can't believe I made this video, but I did. Peace. Love yourself. <laughs> Love each other. Take care. Grow hill and reach your higher self. Ashe.